I am Dr. Govardhan. Uh, I am a senior consultant and uh, HOD, internal medicine here. Uh, at Care Hospitals Nampalli, we have uh, internal medicine department uh, working along with the critical care medicine. So we have a fairly a large department. Uh, we have uh, five senior consultants and uh, three junior uh, consultants and uh, one senior intensivist working with us. Uh, we have uh, three junior residents working with us. Uh, here in care hospitals, normally in the Department of Medicine provides 24 by 7 coverage and uh, we cater to various services like uh, outpatient services, inpatient services and uh, critical care uh, medicine. The critical care medicine includes uh, I mean, the treating uh, serious uh, uh, medical emergencies uh, like multi-organ failures, infection related complications. Uh, and the metabolic uh, related toxins, environments, uh, and all these uh, uh, problems we deal with uh, uh, 24 by 7. And we have uh, state of art uh, care we provide uh, uh, in our critical care units. So we have all uh, facilities for organ supports. So we provide hemodialysis for uh, renal patients. Uh, we have uh, uh, facilities uh, to provide care for uh, no respiratory failure, uh, including high-end care like uh, ECMO, uh, which means an extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, which we do for a very sick patients with uh, refractory respiratory failure and uh, patients with uh, cardiogenic shock. And uh, apart from this, we provide outpatient services, uh, inpatient services, and uh, we provide uh, cross consultations for various other departments. We also do regular health checkups. Uh, we have a health checkup programs uh, for uh, uh, those who are, I mean, apparently healthy people. Uh, so we have different packages for a different uh, group of uh, subpopulation of patients. Uh, we have master health checkups. We have executive health checkups. Uh, for women, we have women health checkup programs, and we have some other uh, comprehensive uh, health. The checkup programs like a cardiology checkup, diabetic checkup, uh, and here in uh, Care Hospital Nampalli, we try to you know, celebrate all uh, um, medically important days like uh, you know, the Diabetes Day, Hypertension Day, AIDS Day, and all those things uh, as uh, other uh, I mean uh, occasion. We try to celebrate each occasion and we. We call such patients uh, to our hospital and we try to educate them uh, uh, regarding the respective diseases. Uh, so we, we play a major role in educating uh, the general public uh, uh, regarding uh, uh, lifestyle related diseases like uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, lipid disorders uh, So and some of the preventive aspects where prevention is very important. Uh, like uh, infectious diseases and uh, adult vaccination programs uh, and all these issues we play a major role uh, and uh, health checkups especially the regular health checkups uh, many people will ask us uh, are they necessary uh, yes i do feel that they are important because in our fast uh, no, mechanized life we tend to forget our uh, health we tend to forget our uh, dietary the things which uh, you know we don't take a good diet we uh, because uh, we are so busy that we almost uh, always we indulge in junk diets junk foods which are not very good for our health so the health checkups uh, once in a while are necessary uh, and uh, moreover there are some of the problems which can be detected just on routine examination so like you know high blood pressure so diabetes thyroid problems lipid disorders all these things, uh, now they are just picked up on routine uh, uh, health checkups. So, so these routine health checkups have do have some role in uh, the, the medical practice. So, we do routine checkups, and uh, we always counsel. So, at the end of the health checkups, so we counsel because they are apparently healthy. So, they may not know what their problems are. So, we go through all the reports. Uh, and especially if they have some borderline uh, you know, diabetes, so the borderline uh, lab abnormalities. So we counsel them, we try to tell them what to do next. 
uh, if there is a need we you know advise uh, consults with other uh, specialists like somebody may need a, a cardiology consultation uh, for some asymptomatic abnormalities in the ecg or sometimes a routine you know, treadmill test may give you know, some abnormality so all these according to the you know, lab reports and the abnormalities in the labs you now we tend to advise them uh, the particular specialty care wherever is required and especially in the health checkups we stress more on uh, the lifestyle so we tell them about uh, the benefits of a good lifestyle uh, diet uh, and regular exercise advantages of uh, doing a regular exercise pro program so we tell them you no know, to take at least uh, so 150 minutes of a brisk walk in a week we regularly conduct medical camps uh, for uh, we target uh, certain sub populations sometimes we do geriatric camps sometimes we do you know uh, in a in a community where we have uh, the, the more high risk individuals for uh, you know heart attacks and uh, high blood pressure diabetes and all that so we have a program for a targeted uh, uh, medical camps and we have a robust organ uh, transplantation program going on here so we have facilities for transplantation of uh, uh, liver kidney and heart uh, so th these are to name a few so these are the things uh, from the department of medicine critical care we we provide and uh, so as a whole we give a comprehensive health care from the department of medicine uh, including uh, primary prevention so we treat the disease we provide a secondary prevention care and uh, we provide rehabilitation care and we also provide uh, end of life care for who are terminally ill and where we can't do much uh, for them uh, and uh, so in a nutshell this is what we do uh, as a department of medicine and critical care in our care hospital now here